Hey guys, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our inventory system. So if you take a quick look in my heads up display here, you can see I've now added a little box for the inventory. And within that inventory, you have a couple of slots that the player is going to be able to fill with items that they pick up from the game. This inventory system is going to be quite simple, however if you want to you can expand on it. The way that I've made it is in a way that is going to be really easy to follow along. So this inventory system is going to pop up on the screen when you press the B key on your keyboard, so B for bag, and then once they've done that they can just press a little X to close it again or press B, it's entirely up to them. Anyway, so what we're going to do in today's video is just focus on getting these assets imported into the engine and then within the UI editor and then over the next few videos we're going to be working on the functionality for this inventory system. So without further ado, let's dive into the engine. Cool, so now that we're inside of the engine, we need to import some files. Now, I've already exported those files out of Photoshop for this bag system, the inventory system. You need to make sure you download the latest version of the RPG assets. Once again, the link for that is down in the description below. So the files that you need to import is bag PG, bag icon, and then also you're going to be using the clothes, but we've already got that imported so we can just reuse it. But realistically for now, let's just get these two in here. So we're going to be navigating to our HUD assets folder within our content browser and then from within there we are literally just going to select both of these files, click, drag and drop and then from there they are ready to go. So what we need to do now then is open up blueprints and then within here what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to quickly create a new widget blueprint for our inventory system and the reason why I'm doing it in its own blueprint as opposed to as part of the heads up display is so that I can have sort of you know all the code separated from the rest it's just going to make things a little bit easier for us and also so I can close it just you know a lot easier so let's just go and add this new widget blueprint give it the name inventory and then from there just set your auto save to cancel don't worry about that you probably won't even have it there but open this up and then we've got to start setting up all of the elements that we're going to use for this system. So give it a couple of seconds to load and then we're going to get started. So first things first, we're going to take a look at this image and we're going to try and break down exactly what we're going to need. So first things first, we've got the inventory in the background, that's just a static image. And then we've also got a little button here. So let's get the inventory and the button done to start with. So open up our UI editor. And then if we go to palette in the top left hand corner, go to image and just drag and drop one of these into your scene. Over in your appearance and brush, you want to set this to your background for your inventory. So you want to open up your HUD assets and then just select the file, so bag BG. And then from there, just chuck it in just like that. As for the size of the X and Y up here, you want to make this match the image which I've exported out of Photoshop. So that should be, as you can see down here, 329 by 235. And you just want to pop that into the X and Y. And the way I designed this, it should be sort of on the right hand side of the screen, just like this. And because it's on the side of the screen, I'm also going to anchor it so it also stays exactly where it should be. And I'm going to place this just above the center about there. And make sure you don't go too high up as if you remember you have your quest text in the top right hand corner, you don't want to overlap that. So the next element that we need is our button. This button is just for the close, you know, to close the inventory. So we're just going to chuck this in and then for style, just type in close underscore normal for the normal image set your margin to zero and then close that one move on to hovered and this one is close underscore rollover margin is zero and then lastly for the pressed just set this back to close underscore normal with the margin zero and we're good to there 
good to go there. And then all we need to do is just set size X and Y to 40 by 40 and then just drag it into the top left hand corner just like this. Now we also need to give this little button a little bit of functionality so let's quickly do this. So when we're testing we're actually able to close the inventory so on clicked create the event for that in the details panel and on clicked if you press the little plus icon what you want to do is simply remove from parent and then this is just going to remove the widget and if you want to you can do other stuff it's entirely up to you so when I say other stuff I mean you can add like a sound to close it it's you know you don't have to do anything but the important bit is that we can remove this from our inventory so the next thing that I want to do quickly is just anchor my button to the right hand side of the screen as well and then from here what we're going to focus on now then is just getting this widget to pop up onto the screen when you press the B key so to be able to do that what we need to do is set up a proper input for that so I'm going to go to edit project settings give it a couple of seconds to load up and we need to set up a proper input as we have done for the other stuff so within the project settings go to input down here on the left and then you can see we've got all these abilities just create another action mapping by pressing the plus icon and then from here you're just going to want to type in open uh, bag just like that and then for the key for this just go to your keyboard and the one that you're after should simply be B just like that so now what we need to do is open up our character blueprint which is where we can actually take these inputs and tell it to open the bag now we've got to put this inside of both the magic character and the sword character but that's easy so I'll start off with the sword character I'm going to just find some empty space somewhere and then at the bottom I'm just going to type in open bag and this is going to give us the input event so when we press B essentially we're going to tell it to create a widget and then for this add to viewport and then for the widget class we are simply going to tell it to open up the loop bag widget no not the loop bag widget the inventory widget compile this and then if we press play real quick just to test this select my sword character and then press B you can see we've now got our inventory on our screen however we can't really press the close button and we won't be able to interact with anything so when we open it we need to tell it to show our mouse cursor so what I'm going to do is set show or cast to third person controller third person or cast to player controller and then as the player controller this is where we need to set show mouse cursor and we simply just want to tick this for the object here get player controller and then compile and then we should be good to go so if I jump back into the game press play select my dude press B you can see I've now got my mouse and I can press that button and close it if I want to so that's pretty much everything that I wanted to do here what I will do quickly is pretty much just copy this code from my sword character that I just created and then open up my magic character and just paste it in so find some space at the bottom control V to paste and we're good to go so now it's going to work on both characters so the last thing that I want to do is now that we've told the engine to show the mouse cursor when the bag is open is when it closes just tell it to get rid of the cursor we don't need it anymore so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my inventory grab this close button of ours and then from here I am just going to create the on clicked event again or view it rather and after remove from parent I am simply going to tell it to do what we just did which was cast to the player controller and then just tell it to set show mouse cursor to untrue and then object wildcard get player 
controller and we should be good to go. Compile this, press play, open up either one of these, let's check the magic character, press B and you can see I've now got my inventory on my screen and I'll be able to interact with the content. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, and make sure you stick around for some more inventory goodness. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.